and welcome to episode four of my Getting to Know Todoist series. In today's episode, I want to show you how you can, all the different ways of capturing tasks in Todoist. So let's get started. The first way is quite possibly the simplest way, and that is just directly through your inbox. So we have inbox open here, and it just says at the top, add tasks. So add, uh, decide on uh, print materials for purple inflatable frogs. That one's quite simple. Just hit return once you've done it. The second way to do this is to just go up to the top here and you see the Todoist icon. Click on that, add task, and sure enough, you can say, call Bill about purple inflatable frogs. And fair enough, that's very simple. Now, those are the two easiest ways to do it. The third way is a little, you have to set up the third way before you can do it, but it is a fantastic way. So if you just go into Todoist and preferences, and you've got general shortcuts and notifications. If you click on the shortcuts one, you have an option to show or hide Todoist. And basically what this does, for example, if I do it now, shift command T, uh, to do is disappears. If I click Shift Command T, to do is reappears. So that one is actually a really useful one if you're working quite quickly. The second one is Quick Add Task. Now, in my case here, I've got Shift Command A. Now you can record whatever you want. You can just click on the record, Shift Command A. In my case, hit Return. Done. Now, if I'm in my email, for example, let's go to my email. If I'm in my email and I suddenly have an idea, I can go shift command A and email Bill about purple inflatable frogs, hit return. And what you'll find now is, here we go, email Bill about purple inflatable frogs has been captured. Now, those are the uh, three very easy ways of capturing tasks in Todoist. The fourth way is a little bit more complex. What you have to do is you have to go to, in your inbox, go to the little icon here, it's like a tool icon, click on that. And down at the bottom, you have email tasks to this project. And what this will do is it will give you an email address for uh, sending stuff directly to your inbox. So in this case, all you have to do is click on it and sure enough, there we go. And what you would do is copy and save that in your inbox. So I've already done that. So let's go back to email. And <clears throat> let's say this task, this message is for task. I think, oh yes, I need to remember this. So we click on forward and I type in to doist and hit return and then just send. Once that message is gone and my internet's, there we go, it's gone. And now I just run this again and you'll find that that should come in now. There you go, very, very quick, wonderful. When you click on this task here, uh, you'll notice, sorry, if you click on the notes section, you've actually got the actual email message here. So this message is for capturing. Very, very, very useful for quick, quick adding tasks to your inbox. So that's four ways of adding tasks to your inbox. Now let me show you how to do this on your iPhone or cell phone because they all work pretty much the same way. Okay, now when you're using your cell phone, you obviously the interface is a little bit different. All we need to do is if we click on the inbox and down in the bottom corner, you'll see the plus button. So we can click on that and we can type in uh, remember to buy new dog food for Barney and just hit done. 
and it'll remember to do that. Now, one of the beauties of Todoist, which I haven't actually covered yet, is the in the iPhone, well, I have covered in your when setting up projects, but one of the beauties is the natural language parsing. And in the on the iPhone and in the on any cell phone, it's wonderful. What you do is click on this, and let's say remember to buy chicken uh, today at six p.m. Now, what you see is there is the date as highlighted. If I click return, I now have the date as you can see on here. Now. Sometimes you don't, when you're sending stuff to your inbox, you don't necessarily want this natural parsing to, to feature. I often don't, but it might be something like uh, call uh, Dr. Min uh, tomorrow. Now, what you see is tomorrow has been highlighted. If you just tap that, it takes the date away. And then as you can see, it just comes in. So that's one way, that's the easiest way to capture on your iPhone. If we click done, I can go back. Now, if we go out of uh, my Todoist, and let's say I have gone into, let's say I go into my uh, internet. So go into Safari. And let's say I'm searching in Safari. I have a, an article coming up here and I want to save this to my Todoist for reading later. And what I need to do is tap on the push button and you'll see, if you go over to the back end here, you can say more, more, sorry, it's being slow, and turn on Todoist, and I'll move that one up to the top and click done. Now, what you'll see is Todoist is here. If I tap on Todoist, I can then save that to my Todoist inbox. So, go back to Todoist, and what you'll find is that will now be in my inbox. And click on inbox, and you'll see Republican debate, Donald Trump smacks down Ted Cruz in lively clash. And there it is. So. That's really uh, all the things you really need to do uh, with capturing in Todoist. I hope this series is being useful for you. If you have any questions at all, uh, please put them in replies below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.